What's up guys? Welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So I feel like it's been forever since I've been filming because my husband was really sick and I had to take care of him and I basically did not have any time for anything. I couldn't film, I couldn't do anything. So I feel like it's been so long since I filmed my last video and it has. It has been a very long time and I just feel like I cannot talk anymore. <laughs> And I'm gonna be going on a road trip pretty soon again. I'm gonna be visiting my family and I'm gonna stay there over the holidays. So I'm probably gonna stay there for maybe a month or a month and a half, which is quite a long time. And this time I'm not gonna be taking all of my fragrances with me. I'm only gonna be taking a few. And to be honest, it's been very hard to choose which ones I actually wanna take because you know, on a daily basis, I always rotate my fragrances. I always use something different. And so this has been a challenge, you know? I'm trying to like grab with me only maybe like 10, 11 perfumes. But yeah, so far I decided only on whatever I'm going to show you today and hopefully I'm not going to change my mind about them because sometimes, you know, like especially in the evenings, I want to wear something that's very sweet and cozy and relaxing and during the day I want to wear maybe something that's more potent and maybe sexy or whatever it is, you know. So it's been kind of hard to choose only a few from the big collection that I have. So the first one I have here is Lilac Love from Amouage and this is definitely one of my favorites right now. I've been obsessed with this perfume. I used to hate it the very first time I smelled it. This is basically a floral gourmand and it smells kind of powdery and milky and a little bit creamy. It basically smells like you have a bouquet of lilac flowers and then you have a cup of nice coffee standing next to it, like very milky and sweet and sugary. That's what it smells like to me. And it does have a little bit of that retro vibe, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I got over it and I really like it now and I don't even really smell that retro thing anymore. To me it's just like a pure gourmand and I really smell that cocoa powder in here and it just smells very, very nice. I absolutely love it. The next one I have here is from Mont Blanc and it's called Signature. And to be honest, I don't know if I will be taking this one. This is a very like pleasant perfume. It's just very inoffensive. It smells very musky. Again, the musk is very clean in here and milky and creamy. It basically smells like a white feather. <laughs> like it reminds me of feathers. It's so light and fluffy and absolutely beautiful. There's also an orange in there and it smells very sweet. To me it kind of smells soapy. For me it's more on the clean side, the soapy side, not the gourmand side. A lot of people say that this smells like an orange cheesecake or an orange cake or something like that. I don't smell any of that stuff in here. For me it's just very clean and soapy. And I really like to wear that at nighttime. I, of course, I wear this during the daytime, but I definitely like wearing that at night just because of how soft it is. So yeah, I'm not really sure yet because I want to take other fragrances with me, which are kind of in the same category as Mont Blanc. But yeah, I'm not sure yet. I might take that one or I might take something instead. I don't know yet. But the next fragrance that I will be taking with me is, of course, one umbrella for two from Flora Iku. And I am not going to be taking the whole bottle. I will take only 10 ml with me. Um, this is, by the way, the travel case. I'm going to show you how this case works. So basically, I have the 10 ml right here. This is the travel spray bottle. And then you basically open this bottle like this. This is the case for it. And then you put the travel uh, spray in here like that. And then it looks like this. And then there is a cap for it, which is right here. Close that. And then this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? It's absolutely beautiful. The case is very nice. I don't know if this is genuine leather or not, but it feels like leather and it's super, super pretty. I just absolutely love this. And of course I have a cap for this bottle too just to keep this at home or you can actually take this bottle because this is quite heavy uh, like the lid from the, from this bottle so if you don't want to carry that bulky stuff you also have an option to change the 
cap and put like a smaller cap here and then just carry this. This is by the way in 50 ml so you get 60 ml in total but I will not be taking the whole bottle even though this is not that strong I feel like it doesn't last that long either and I feel like it doesn't project that well so basically I kind of have to overspray this but um, I'm gonna be taking a bunch of other fragrances with me so I will just take this travel spray absolutely cute so the next perfume I will be taking with me is La Petite Robe Noir from Guerlain and this is basically a cherry scent to me it smells like a cherry candy there's licorice in here and there's just like a bunch of other stuff there's patchouli in here but um, it's absolutely absolutely beautiful and I definitely like this perfume for fall time and winter time it's so strong it projects very nicely I get compliments every single time I use this perfume and this was repurchased many times over the years and I'm always afraid that I'm gonna run out because as far as I know I think it's kind of discontinued like it's not sold in the regular retail stores right now it's only sold like online I believe they have this in Walmart or something online and so basically it's kind of hard to find it so yeah i'm always afraid that it's going to be completely discontinued and i'm not going to have a bottle of this i have a lot of memories tied to this perfume because i used to use this like back in like 2012 13 and yeah i just absolutely love this fragrance it is so so good crazy crazy projection and it lasts forever on the skin and on the clothes absolutely insane fragrance and the next one i will be taking of course is metalique from tom ford this is just a gorgeous vanilla and I don't know why people are not really talking about it. Um, a lot of people say that it smells metallic and I think they just look at the name of the fragrance and they're like, oh, whatever, yeah, it's gonna have something synthetic, something gross about it. I don't know, possibly like chicken liver or a rusty spoon or blood and all of this crap, all the nonsense that I hear about this perfume. This is a gorgeous vanilla scent. It smells kind of soapy in the opening because there's aldehydes in there but once it dries down it's just a gorgeous vanilla perfume it's very light again kind of powdery and just like fluffy and a little bit milky to me this is basically a soapy condensed milk perfume I know that sounds weird but because of those aldehydes like i said it smells very soapy and then it just dries down to this very beautiful fluffy and milky vanilla it smells like condensed milk i know that a lot of people smell condensed milk in this one so i am not the only one and the performance is okay it's not the best i would say it lasts about four hours it definitely uh, performs a lot better in the cooler weather than when it's you know kind of hot and warm and humid and whatever um, but yeah it projects the first time absolutely gorgeous like it it's very strong the first hour I'm sorry not the first time the first hour it projects very nicely and then it just kind of sits close to the skin but if people are next to you if people are hugging you they will definitely smell this perfume and it's absolutely gorgeous so the next one is from Montal and it's in, I believe, is this 30 ml? Let's see what this is it. This is in a small bottle basically. This is like a travel size. And this is actually in 20 ml and this is called Vanilla Cake. And I am definitely taking this. I love that I have this in the travel size so I don't have to carry the bulky, um, what am I doing? I'm just gonna put it here. So I don't have to carry the bulky bottle with me. I absolutely love this fragrance it definitely smells like a vanilla cake vanilla ice cream there's like lots of roasted almonds in here sugar vanilla and like whipped cream and milk absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite vanillas ever and then another from Montal this is sweet vanilla this is also in 20 ml this is also the travel um, size and they're so cute Personally, I love the Montal bottles. I think that they look very unique, you know, like different. And yeah, okay, so this is Sweet Vanilla. There's basically two notes in here, apricots and vanilla, and that's it. It smells a little bit synthetic, I'm not gonna lie. 
but it's definitely one of my favorite vanilla scents ever. It has a crazy, crazy performance. It lasts a very long time. It projects a long time. And I think that it's absolutely worth the money. So if you really like vanilla, I suggest you definitely try this one out. Now, the next one I will be taking is Date Delight from the House of Oud. And this is just gorgeous. So, so pretty. Now, there's like a bunch of notes in here. I don't remember all of them, but there's definitely dates in here. Um, I believe there's either cinnamon. There's some kind of spices in here. It is an oriental fragrance and to me it basically smells like syrupy cherries like this is a great cherry scent that's all that I smell in here and I thought maybe I'm the only crazy one but I let my husband smell it and he said the same thing he said it smells like cherries it's very sweet and like heavy and syrupy uh, absolutely gorgeous great performance all you need is like one spray and you're good to go it projects like crazy and this is definitely great for a colder weather i love this in the fall time and winter time and i've actually been wearing this a lot lately and the next one i'm taking is apple brandy from killian and to be honest i was like i didn't know which one i should take i thought maybe i should take la danza uh, from noble 1942 you know the dragonfly dance it's also an apple scent but I decided to go with this one because this is a little bit uh, stronger. It's kind of like potent. It's, um, it has a lot of woody notes in here. So to me, it basically smells like tart apples that are also kind of sweet at the same time. And then there's lots and lots of wood in here. Basically, it smells like somebody took an apple brandy and spilled it on like wood you know on the sticks or something and it's been like sitting there and marinating and that wood is like very wet and moist and that's basically what i smell in here i know that a lot of people say that this leans on the masculine side and i can see where they're coming from but oh my god it's so beautiful but I feel like this is totally unisex and I can see, you know, I can see a woman wearing this. I can see this on a man. This is definitely gorgeous on a man. But I also love this fragrance and this is in my collection. This is not in my husband's collection. And yeah, I also feel like this is more of a more potent version of La Danza. I feel like I find some similarities between the two fragrances because both have vanilla and apple in here. And, you know, La Danza also has cedar in it. So there's also woody notes in there. Um, but I feel like La Danza is more soft and more sweet. Kind of, basic, it's basically more like milky and vanilla-like. Whereas this one more uh, heavy on the wood. But to me, they smell similar. So yeah, this is definitely also great for cooler weather. So this is why I'm taking that one. And then the next one, of course, is Ristretto Intense Cafe from Montal. This is one of my favorites, you guys. This is definitely a special occasion perfume. And I'm going to be going probably to a lot of parties this month. So I'm definitely taking this one with me. This is basically a rose coffee scent. It's so, so gorgeous, you guys. It smells like the most milkiest coffee that's very sugary with lots of vanilla and like whipped cream milk and then there's rose in there now in my opinion this is the best coffee scent that's out there so if you're looking for a strong coffee note this is definitely it now this is also in the extra the perfume this is not an edp so this is technically supposed to be stronger than edp but in my opinion, it is not. I feel like it performs just like EDP, if not even worse, to be honest. I feel like I smell this for the first hour or two, and then I feel like it sits close to the skin. I don't know if it's just my nose that's getting used to it or what, but yeah, that's just what I get from it. Another downside with this one is that it's very oily. There's like pure oil in here, and every time I spray this on my skin, it just drips. And I kind of have to, you know, rub it in or whatever. And I try not to spray that on my hair because my hair gets greasy from that fragrance. But 
absolutely gorgeous the projection is insane everybody will smell this on you and everybody's gonna go crazy they will definitely ask you what you're wearing you're gonna be like the star of the show i'm telling you 100 percent now the next beauty that's coming with me is of course lira from zerja and this is a beautiful garment, absolutely stunning for winter time and fall time again this is gr this is also great in the summertime i absolutely love all of my garments in the summertime but i feel like because of its performance it's not the best for a hot weather um the performance could be definitely better it doesn't project that well it only projects the first hour or so and then it starts sitting close to the skin however the scent is just absolutely beautiful it smells like a lemon uh, caramel cookie or a lemon cake it's just so so yummy definitely giving me like a cookie vibe thing and every time i wear this okay if i want to like impress somebody with my perfume and it doesn't project that well it doesn't have the best performance i spray this right before i walk into the room or you know the building or whatever and people definitely can smell this like i said it projects pretty well for the first hour or so and then it sits very close to the skin but every time i wear this people go crazy they're like oh my god what are you wearing it smells like vanilla it smells like cookies you know people always ask me what it is and it's always always lira now i have two more perfumes here and they are from amouage the first one is love tuberose and i don't know if i should take love tuberose or if i should take honor from amouage uh, both are tuberose scents and even though i feel like they're in the same category they're still different like love tuberose is a very milky and sweet and i kind of smell like a floral bubble gum in here oh my god it smells so so good and it smells so feminine it smells absolutely gorgeous it smells like a bubble gum tuberose very milky and very creamy and this is absolutely beautiful in the summertime because it opens up differently somehow i don't know what what it is i don't know if it's the milky note that's in here or it's the actual tuberose but it becomes very like bubble gum and very very creamy and milky um absolutely gorgeous so i want to try wearing this during the cold months but i don't know if i will be taking this one or if i will be taking honor so honor is basically a kind of green tuberose scent that's a little bit tart because there's rhubarb in here uh, but it's it's a little bit sour only in the opening so don't be afraid if you haven't tried this one and you really want to try this out don't think that this is crazy sour or anything like that it is not it, it is just a little bit like fresh and tart in the opening and then it smells it smells a little bit green but this is also very like creamy it's giving me like um expensive skincare vibes it's it's like a floral lotion that's very expensive or something like that i don't know something that they use in the spa or whatever it's just very floral and feminine it's very heavy on the white florals i believe there's jasmine in here and i think there's lily of the valley but i think the tuberose and the jasmine were very prominent on my skin and again it's kind of like milky and creamy also absolutely gorgeous i think this is great for wedding definitely a bridal scent in my opinion and it's also refreshing and i don't know i also like to use this after the shower right before i go to sleep just because it smells fresh and floral and nice and again it just smells like you put a lotion on you know absolutely gorgeous i don't know if i should take both of them or if i should take one of them i really don't know what i'm gonna do uh, but yeah this is it you guys these are all of the fragrances that i will be taking with me so far hopefully i'm not gonna change my mind about it i don't know i was thinking to take musk therapy with me from an issue also but i'm kind of afraid to like ruin the box and scratch the bottle just because it's so white and it's very like fragile so yeah i don't know if i'll be taking that fragrance with me however i really really want to because it's one of my favorites yeah so far this is it 
Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances. And let me know what you're going to be wearing in the upcoming month. I'm very excited because Christmas is coming, you know, Thanksgiving. And my birthday is like in seven or eight days. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much for watching. Leave all of your comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.